Hello there and welcome to a new SketchUp rendering tutorial using the rendering program iRender Next. Today I would like to show you a very useful iRender Next feature which is called Material Channel which lets you change the color of a material you've built in SketchUp after you've already rendered the image of that uh, model. To change the color of material click on any material in the image uh, which you've rendered and then click change color. Then a dialog is opened which lets you change the color of that material. If the dialog is open already, clicking on another material is enough already to open the same dialog for that certain material. You won't have to click on that material again and select the change color option. When you are in the dialog to change the color of a material, it opens up the HSL dialog, uh, which lets you change the brightness of a color uh, very easily by just sliding up the luminance uh, slider. And if you uh, select the RGB option, you can make the uh, material more red, green or blue by uh, either sliding the slider for red, choosing the R to the right, or for uh, blue, choosing the B to the right. Uh, but you can also just click on the color thumbnail which you see uh, in the dialog and that opens a big variety of different colors to choose from and from there you can choose any color you wish uh, to add to your uh, yeah, model to change the color from what it originally looked like in the render. At the left side of the dialog you see all items which you have put in your uh, model and all their colors and in that way you can match the colors of certain objects to um, fit the color of um, yeah, the material you wanted to change. I personally think that this is a very helpful R in the next uh, feature for minor improvements to my renders and I'll definitely be using this more often and I hope you'll be able to uh, use it as well and you'll find it useful as well. It's definitely useful for me at least. Um, there are two downsides to this method of coloring or color changing though because uh, material channels uh, only change the color of a material as you see them and not the color of any light reflected from the material uh, which means that as you can see over here we have a mirror and um, the color reflected uh, in the mirror of this object isn't reflected in the mirror uh, or it's, it's Actually, the change which you added to that um, object, you see, don't see the change in the mirror. That's maybe simpler to explain it. And um, secondly, uh, changes to the material aren't saved in the materials themselves. And therefore, they won't apply if you render the same image again another time. Uh, but you can save color changes though. And with this save button over here, you can do that. And with the load button next to it, you can actually load the material changes you've made another time. So um, yeah, personally, I think this is a really good and useful feature of RN and Next. And uh, yeah, I hope you en yeah, enjoyed this video and you find it useful. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial and then I hope to see you back later.